Hello everyone, my name is Ishwara Srinivasan. I work as a data scientist at Google Cloud AI team and I'm an open source developer advocate for DeepJax. Now, a lot of time the question arises, how do you ensure you're building good models? Well, it depends a lot on, of course, the data and how you are actually building these models. So data as well as model validation is something every data scientist should be concerned about and deploy standard methods for assessing the same. This is where deep checks come in handy because deep checks is a leading tool for testing and for validating your data and machine learning models. Also, it enables this with minimal effort and of course, it's completely open source. So talking about deep checks, it accompanies you through various validation and testing needs, such as verifying your data's integrity, be it inspecting like the distributions, validating the data, data splits that you have, or evaluating your model and comparing between different kinds of models. So deep checks constitute, constitutes of suites and independent checks. Suites are basically a collection of multiple individual checks which correspond to a specific broader validation category. And all the checks are available for both tabular and computer vision use cases. Some of the tabular suites I just wanted to mention which is available in deep checks are single data uh, data set integrity, which is meant to detect integrity issues within a single data set. Then we have train test leakage, which is meant to detect data leakages between the training data set and the test data set. Then we have something called as a train test validation, which is meant to validate the correctness of the train test split, including the integrity, distribution, and any kind of leakage checks. Now we have a model evaluation, which is meant to test the model performance and any kind of overfit if it exists. The individual checks span around the following categories on or overall, which is one distribution, which is a module containing all data distribution checks. Two, we have an integrity module, which consists of all data integrity checks. Then three, we have methodology, which is a module containing checks for methodological flaws in the model building process. Four, we have an overview module, which contains uh, checks for the uh, overall overview of data sets and models. Then we have five performance module, which contains checks for model performance and other kind of metrics. Now you may be wondering why is this so important? So let me tell you a quick story. Um, when I was an intern working at a startup during my undergraduate years, we were building a classification model based on tabular data. I got really excited about the initial results, which were extremely promising. So I went up and showed this to a uh, this to a uh, colleague of mine. Uh, the colleague was like much more experienced than I was. So he immediately caught that and said, hey, there's no way those results are legit because uh, look for some kind of problem that could have arised during, during this. And he was absolutely right. I indeed found a complicated form of leakage between my train and data or uh, and test data set split. While uh, this case was a bit embarrassing for me, it could have become worse. <laughs> I was glad that this was something which we could find uh, while I was doing the proof of concept phase and the leakage was found at the right time. The leakage could have come up when I was presenting the results to the entire team or worse, it could have come up while we were doing evaluation or even worse, while it was during the full-blown production. So my point is back then, I did not know of any kind of tools Deep checks did not exist, and I don't know if there was any other tools that existed that could help me doing data and model validations. But now that it exists, use it. That way you can avoid situations like the one I described. So if you want to explore um, all the checks and validation um, uh, suites that's available in deep checks, go through it yourself and try it out yourself. Also, do not forget to star their GitHub repository as you may know that it's really, really important for open source packages like deep checks and many others. And that's how it gives them the ability to grow in the community and make sure that they're developing the best kind of solutions for all the applied data scientists out there. So uh, please, uh, please go try it yourself and definitely, definitely star, uh, star their GitHub repository. 
If you have any questions, please add those questions to the comments of the video. I will be attaching more uh, resources in, in the description. So please go check that out. And yeah, stay tuned for more upcoming videos.